Hey guys, how are you guys doing? This is Jose Garcia. What I want to do in this video is I want to go ahead and show you guys how to post the ears of your puppy, okay? So right here we have one of our puppies from our kettle. This is Drago Garcia. He is the son of Quiz and Tina, okay? So uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and like I said, I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to do the ear posting, um, literally step by step. I'm gonna show you guys all of the material that you guys need. Um, and then I'm gonna walk you guys through exactly how to do it. Okay, so let's go ahead and move on to the table Okay Sorry, it's a little bit windy, but this is the material that you guys are gonna go ahead and need Okay, it's always have a knife handy have two of these uh, popsicle sticks You know the big ones or you know the normal size is fine. Uh, you're gonna need two strips oh, Sorry, You're gonna need two strips of this tape is the adhesive tape or something like that. Okay, just make sure that it's like this, the, the flimsy ones, like the one that they use at the hospitals. Um, okay, so this tape is really, really, really important. Okay, so you're gonna need this. So you're gonna need two of those strips and they are about, I'd say a foot or 13, 14 inches. Uh, that's gonna be for each ear. The other thing you guys are gonna need is uh, sports tape. Okay, make sure it's uh, sports tape. Um, and it's cloth, as you guys can see. Um, a lesson, okay? Make sure that you guys do not use plastic tape, okay? Because I had, uh, when I had Cora, I ended up putting, I think it was plastic tape, and uh, the ears, you know, they got infected, and they were really smelly and all that stuff, okay? So make sure you guys use this uh, sports tape, okay? You guys are also gonna need two of these little strips. They're uh, like foam, like it's like a little pipe. I don't, I'm not really sure what it's called, honestly. But you just go to uh, to Home Depot and you could get it there. Make sure that it's the, the 5 8 I believe, in measurement when it comes to thickness. There's one that's thinner. Um, this one's the one that works out the best uh, for the ear posting, okay? So you're gonna need two of those. Um, so a little thing when it comes to cutting it, okay? Let's go ahead and move on to the puppy. It's gonna be this right here, okay? When you guys measure it, hold on, Drago. When you guys measure it, you guys are gonna stick the uh, the uh, the foam right right down into the canal of the ear, okay? And then make sure that it is long enough that it covers the whole ear, okay? When you cut it, don't cut it like down here, and then you're gonna have this little flap hanging, okay? Don't do that because you don't want your puppy uh, to have the you know t for this little curvature to stay like this as it gets older. Okay, so that's something that I wanted you guys to pay attention to when it comes to measuring this, okay? Um, so, this is the material, the tape. You're gonna need two of these. And I kind of had it like pre-done pre uh, so we wouldn't make this video extremely long. So this is about five inches, six inches or so. And then what I ended up doing is I cut about eight of these little pieces. You know, it's the same piece. I just cut it in half because we're going to need these little strips for the uh, for the taping. Okay. Alrighty. So let's go ahead and uh, get started. So step number one is going to be to create these little things or kind of put these things together. Okay. So we already did one. As you guys can tell, we uh, we cut it in half. Okay. You don't cut it all the way through. You just want to do like, you know, most of it. Okay, and you could just do it with the knife. Okay, the other thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna take one of these and you're gonna cut it with the knife. Okay, again, we pre did it pretty much so it doesn't take that much time. Okay, so you're gonna do it like this and then you can just snap it off. Okay, and this is really, really important, guys. So we're gonna do this, put this in there. This is how it's gonna be. And the reason why I personally do this, guys, is because I don't want this to be all flimsy. Okay, I don't. I want it to be stiff, I want it to be hard, so that when we stick the ear, it stands on there and it sticks onto the, uh, to a stiff surface, okay? So next, you're gonna get the actual roll of, uh, of tape, and we're gonna go ahead and tape it. Okay, now this is really, really important, guys. So we're gonna do one, like this. After we do the first one, we're gonna flip the tape, okay? Is it making sense? And the reason, guys, you guys will see that we're gonna flip the tape is gonna be because we want the stickiness, the stickiness of the tape, we want it on the, uh, on the outside of the, of the post. 
and the reason is for the ear so uh for the ear to stand or stick onto the uh to the post okay so this is pretty much how to do it very very easy and simple perfect Okay, so one of them's done, then we're gonna do the other one. And again, make sure it doesn't go all the way through. Um, you just wanna go a little bit more than half. Okay, like that. Then you're gonna grab your other little piece, and you're gonna stick it in there, okay? What I also like to do is I like to push it up a little bit because I wanna make sure that that stick is not sticking out here because when we stick it into the puppy, I don't want this to be bugging the puppy, okay? So what we can do is do that and if a little piece of it is sticking out, we can cut it with scissors, okay? So then we grab the tape again and do the same thing, okay? Do it once, then you're gonna flip the tape, okay? And then just go to the bottom again and then go back up. Like that. Okay. Perfect. All right. So now we have the uh, the postings completed or created or made or whatever you want to call it, right? Um, so as you guys can see, this little stick, I want this to be sticking out. And this little stick, I want it to be sticking out. Okay, and I'll probably cut this little piece off because I don't want this to be bugging the puppy. Okay, as you guys can see, there's nothing down there because this section or this part of the posting is gonna go into the puppy's ear. Okay, is it all making sense? All right, guys, perfect. All right, let me see the Drago. All right, Mr. Drago. Come on. This little monster. Okay, so let's go ahead and do the first ear. We will do, um, let's see. Yeah, we'll do this one. Yeah. Let's get moving this way. Okay. You wanna stand a little bit this way? Either way. Okay. Hold on. Here, you wanna stand on this side? Yes. Okay. Hold them. Perfect. All right, guys. So this section, like I said, make sure that it's the section that it doesn't have the uh, the popsicle stick. Okay. So you're gonna stick it into the canal. Okay. And that little hole right in there. You don't want to hurt the puppy. You're not gonna shove it in there. You're just gonna place it in there, and you're gonna stick it down as far as you can without hurting the puppy. Okay. That's step number one. Okay, the other thing that we have to do is you have to make sure that you grab the ear and you pull it, okay? Nothing crazy, just make sure that the ear is nice and straight. You don't want the ear to be like this, right? Or something like that. And of course, that's just exaggerating, right? But you wanna make sure that the ear, you grab it from the very bottom, you know, you stick it down there, and then you're gonna pull it up a little bit, okay? Like that, okay? You guys see that? See how the ear is nice and straight? Okay. Perfect. And then as you guys can see, the tip of the ear is also on the, uh, on the posting. Okay, here, grab his mouth. Okay, so then we're going to go ahead and grab a little piece of it. Okay, so... Oh, hold on, Drago. Okay, so we could do either the top or the bottom, but the top is probably easier and fastest. Hold on, Drago. Hold on. Relax, relax. Okay. So you're going to start here and you're going to go around. Just make sure that you cover the tip of the ear. Okay. Uh, it came out. Okay. Hold on, Drago. Hold on. Relax. Relax. Okay. Relax. Hold on. I want to do it again. Okay. So I want to make sure it's down there. Grab the ear. Pull it up a little bit. Like that. Okay. Then we're going to take a little piece and just make sure you do the tip. And it's loosely, okay? You guys saw how loosely it was. I'm not forcing it. I'm not cutting the circulation of the, 
of the uh, of the ear. I'm not doing it super tight because if you guys do that, you're gonna mess up the ear. Okay. Hold on, Drago. Relax. Relax. Good boy. Okay. Then you grab your other piece of tape. Hold on, buddy. Okay. So you grab the other piece of tape, and then you can do. You're gonna do it right here. You don't wanna do it too high or too low. Okay, right about there. Another huge, huge thing. You guys see this lip right here? This lip has to go back, okay? You never tape this way, you always tape back. Okay? Like this, bam. And again, it's nice and loose, okay? Nothing crazy. You guys make sure that's really, really important that the ears are not super, super tight, okay? So once we do that, we do the top posting, the bottom posting, you guys see it looks nice and, and attached to the actual post. Then we take the uh, adhesive tape, or whatever this thing's called, and we're gonna do the, uh, the posting, okay? So we're gonna start at the top, same thing. You always tape inward towards the uh, center of the head, okay? Hold on, buddy. Huh? So you guys can see, relax, relax. There we go, like that. You guys can see it's nice and loose, right? Nice and loose, like that. Okay, and then once it's there, then you squeeze it. Now you can squeeze, okay? So this is kind of how it's gonna be looking. Okay, so now let's go ahead and do the, uh, the other ear. Same thing, we're gonna grab the, uh, this other piece. Make sure that it doesn't have the, the stick poking out, okay? This is gonna go inside the canal or the, the hole of the ear, okay? So once it's in there, you grab the ear from the bottom and you pull it up a little bit and you slide it like that, okay? Good boy. Try to do it as fast as I can, okay? Hold on, buddy, hold on. And again, just get the tip of it like that, perfect. Let me do the bottom. Again, remember this lip has to go inward, okay? Hold on, buddy. Drago, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, again, nothing crazy, nothing too hard. Because if you guys do it hard, uh, you don't want to stop the circulation of the, of the puppy's ear, okay? Then you get your adhesive tape, that's my phone, okay? Then you do the same thing. Okay, remember, we always go to the center of the head. Okay, that's how we always do all the tapings. Okay, like that. And again, guys, this is very, very important that you guys do it like this. This is exactly how I learned from the vet here in LA in Riverside. Um, um, and I think he charges like $30 to do this ear posting every single week, right? Because you have to do this every single week. Um, and it's the best method that I have found. Um, I know there's a lot of videos on YouTube and stuff like that, but, uh, but they all have different methods, different strategies. Here, just let him rest, I'll talk a little bit. Uh, different methods, different strategies, and I found this to be the best one. Like I said, this is from the vet in Riverside, and they specialize in uh, Dobermans, and they specialize in the posting of Dobermans, okay? So that's... Uh, <clears throat> Hold on, buddy. That's things to uh, to take into account, okay? So, um, let's see. Uh, cool, so now let's go ahead and do the bridge. Okay, now this is another section that's really important. I've seen people on YouTube leave them like this. We don't do that, right? I want the ears to be like this, nice and standing straight. The reason is because I don't want the ears to harden like that. That's not what a Doberman looks like, okay? You guys have to take that and, and pay attention to that, okay? So what I do is, again, I take my second piece of, of, uh, of popsicle stick. Um, come here, Drago. Okay? And I measure it. Okay? So I measure it. This is how I want it to look. Hold on, buddy. Come this way. Something like this. Okay, you guys could see that? That's how it's gonna look once it's done. Okay, so if you want, come back around. <clears throat> this way. 
And this is kind of where I want the posting to be. I want it to be about the center of the ear. Okay, right about there, right about there. Okay, so I kind of have a little bit of experience, you know, so I could just cut it and I kind of know exactly where to, where to cut. But for you guys, just cut a little piece, cut a little piece, measure, cut a little piece, measure, just to make sure that you guys get it done right, okay? Another huge thing, it is important. I don't want you guys to do the bridge and have his ears like this or have his ears like that, okay? Make sure that they're nice and straight, as straight as you guys can make them. It doesn't have to be perfect, but make sure that they're not like this and they're not like this, okay? So that's why measuring the, the stick to make sure that it's, uh, it's nice and straight is very, very important, right about there. If you could see over here, it looks perfect. You guys see how nice and straight those ears are? That's exactly how they're gonna stand when they are, uh, you know, when they're standing up straight, okay? <sighs> Sorry guys, it's a lot of talking. <laughs> okay, so let's do this, this, okay. So now what I, gotta, what I have to do is I'm gonna do this, okay? So I'm gonna tape up the, uh, the bridge like this and I'm gonna go to the first ear, okay? So I'm gonna do it like this. Okay, remember, it's about the center of the ear, okay? Then, I go around the puppy's ear. Hold on, Drago, hold on. Relax, relax, relax. And you guys definitely need a helper, I forgot to tell you guys that. <laughs> okay, so do that. So the first ear, you do it like that. Okay, then you're just gonna tape it, okay? So that's how it's gonna look. You guys see that? So it's nice and straight. We're nowhere near done with the bridge, okay? So next thing, we grab another of the small pieces of tape and we put it on the other side and we're gonna do the same thing. Now this side is gonna be more important because we have to make sure we measure, right? That's why it's a good idea to have uh, right there. And you don't want the puppy to move. Okay. Hold on, Drago, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, you guys see how he moved and the ears are really, really kind of pointing outward? Okay. So let's do it again. And this is patience, guys, patience. And don't, uh, you know, you may do it once or twice. Once you get really good at it, it's gonna be easy. Uh, but the first few times, it may be a little bit of, uh, of work. Okay. Hold on, Drago. Hold on, hold on. Alright, let's see. Oh no, he ruined my tape. Ah, okay, hold on. Let me get another one. Alright guys. Give me one second. Okay, let's try it again. Come on, Drago. Okay. Hold on, buddy. So again, and this is the first time Drago's getting his ears posted, so he does not like that, right? But eventually he'll get used to it. So again, right there, measure them, make sure they're nice and straight, perfect, and then just fold it. Bam. Okay. What I personally like to do, I like to look at them, make sure they're nice and straight. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm happy with them. Okay. They look nice. Now I get another little strip and I and I grab here you want to record right here and I grab this area right here of the of the of the posting okay this is how I do it piece of it stick it in here you guys see that and I want to make sure that this does not um, it does not get loose okay and then I got to do the same thing with the other side uh, get another little piece Sorry guys. Okay. So again, I go here. I stick it under his under the the bridge. And I go around it. Okay? Because I want to make sure that this tape and this tape uh, is is uh, taped up together. And you guys see that it's starting to uh, look, uh, starting to look really nice. I'm not done. 
okay? And, and again, this method is very, very effective so that the puppies don't scratch it off, they don't take it off. Because I've heard people say, well, I tried it and they kept biting it off, they kept taking it off. Um, they scratched the ears and, and the tapings came off, all of that stuff, okay? If you guys do it properly, that's not gonna be a problem with you guys, okay? So now I take another piece, maybe five, six inches, and I do an extra taping on the, uh, from the posting to the bridge, okay? Like that. And I do the other side, okay? So again, from the bridge, from the bridge to the post, and loop it all the way around, like this, okay? And then we make sure we don't get any skin, okay? Then we, now we can squeeze this. Remember, we don't squeeze them as, uh, as we're putting them on because you don't want to cut the circulation of the, of the puppy's ears, okay? And that is pretty much it. Come here, Drago. Let's see. See how he looks. Check him out. You guys see that? So there you go. That's how they're supposed to look. Okay, they're nice, they're sturdy. Um, so I wanna go ahead and uh, keep talking for a few minutes and give you guys a little bit of information on the postings, okay? You don't want to, um, the only reason when you take them off is if they get wet, okay? If they get wet, you are gonna have to take them off because you don't want the ears to get infected. Another thing you wanna make sure that the ears are healed completely and they're not bleeding, okay? Um, the other thing is you're gonna, you guys are gonna be taking them off once a week, okay? So let's say you put them on today that it's Sunday, okay? So you put it on on Sunday, maybe Saturday night or, or next Sunday, you're gonna take them off, okay? Um, make sure you guys keep an eye on the ears at all times. If they start to get smelly or, you know, you see like the dog is in pain or something like that, take them off, okay? It takes a little bit of time, but it's better for you to be safe and not be like, okay, well, he'll be fine. I'm going to take him off till Sunday, okay? You don't want to do that, okay? Um, so that's pretty much how the ears are done. Like I said, I learned how to do the ears from the vet. Um, I know there's a lot of YouTube videos out there, but like I said, not a lot of them have everything in one. And this is a method that really works because I did it with Cora and I did it with Kimber, okay? So, and you guys can see how their ears are. Um, they're nice and straight. So it, this method works, okay? Uh, before I used to do a, a, a double bridge, but honestly guys, when you guys do the, the bottom bridge, just make sure it's nice and straight. You guys don't need the top bridge, okay? So again, make sure that the ears are always nice and straight like this, and you guys are perfectly fine. Um, another thing is when you guys take off the, the postings, the, uh, the ears are gonna be standing up straight, okay? You guys could wait a few hours and then they're gonna start to go down, okay? So don't be like, oh no, they, they didn't stand. Well, of course not. The muscle in the ear and the cartilage in the ear has to harden up over the next few weeks in order for the ears to stand up straight. Okay, you're gonna over time as you as you continue to do this as you continue to take them off they're going to um, They're gonna stand uh, They're gonna remain standing for longer periods of time Okay, in about two and a half months or so you can leave them off for the whole day and then you can start seeing how um, How they're how long they stand and all that stuff and of course, I'll probably make an update video um, You know, this is Drago. So we'll be working with Carla Carla's is gonna be uh, at our house with the kennel. Uh, that, that female is her, his sister, right? And my brother owns that dog. So as the progression goes with their postings of, of the ears of Carla, cause this is gonna go to Robert, right? His new owner. Um, I'll be giving you guys updates. Hey guys, we've been posting Carla's ears for two to three weeks, four weeks, five weeks, um, and then that type of stuff, okay? I believe that is pretty much it. Um, Big tip, remember the, the tape, do not, do not use plastic. Cause if you guys use plastic, that's gonna rotten up the ear and you don't wanna do that, especially in the heat, okay? Um, if you guys have any questions, let me know. Um, if you guys uh, are getting a puppy from me and you guys are in my channel and stuff like that, you know you guys have direct access to me. Uh, just send me a message, a private message, a text message, and I'll answer any questions you may have. Um, if you're coming across this video just on YouTube, 
um, go ahead and feel free to use it, right? That's what we're here for is to, to help people and, and to make sure that your guys' puppy's ears are, uh, they stand up nice and straight, okay? All right, guys, that is it. Have an awesome day, and I will see you guys on the next video. See you later.